going to begin starting on pretty much uh, doing some repainting. It's not going to be strictly like stripping stuff down and getting down to the bare bones, but just, you know, something basic, uh, something that's more easy on the eye. What I'm going to do is just take this, it's a wire brush, and attach it to this pole and just pretty much go over that um, to get that up and then use my broom to brush it out. Um, it's all biodegradable, so with this one, it'll just, you know, go with the dirt, baby. Um, yeah, and I'll probably take this and just scratch over the surface of this trailer. Definitely use it over there, so. And then get something to sand it down. It's not gonna be the best, but, you know, it's just all I got right now that I can find. Um, let me see if I can, I'm gonna do this side, and I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of me uh doing the side i'm gonna use this little toy truck to see if it'll hold the phone up So, did some light sanding on this side as well. As you can see here, it's just light sanding. I just take a broom, sweep it down. Also did some light sanding that side. All right guys, that's my best practice when it comes to a spray can. I always put them in. Hot water. So, by uh, putting a spray can in the water, for some reason it seems like it gives that better results of an actual, you know, spray gun. The results that you get from a spray gun. I'm not saying it's going to be exactly alike, but it's much more better results than normal. I'm going to use this spray paint um, can first. We're going to pretty much go over the frame go over the uh, rails as well as wheel well outside wheel well later I'll take the tires off and go inside and of coat we're gonna use this as our final coat that we're gonna do around the frame and the rails um, this coat I already used before this paint I already used before and it's got a good gloss on it as you can see here that's what paint I'd have used. All right, as for the base, um, I'm just pretty much gonna just just pour the paint on the bottom. Uh, there's no real true reason for me to do it properly by, you know, putting in the pail or anything of that nature. Again, cause it's just going on the bottom of the floorboard or plywood. Anyhow, um, this is the paint that I'm going to be using. Uh, it is a red oak. But not too much that it starts to pour everywhere. Leave it like that. Again, this is not the way to paint, but... I'm just winging it right now. I know how to paint. So I definitely do know how to paint. But there's times where I'm just like, look, I just wanna slap something on and just keep moving. And that's one of these times. So 
I'm seeing better results. Uh, one thing I did want to do is make it darker. And it's definitely becoming darker. Paint. It provides a good protection. Alright. So I definitely could do this better if I'm using two hands. But I'm just showing you guys. Let's see how well she holds with this black spot. Uh, she's definitely doing good on that black spot. I'll tell you that for a fact. Alright guys, to make this short, I applied the paint to the bed. It's going to take a couple of uh, layers. But I'm going to get probably... Uh, probably get a full size can or maybe just one more can i'm not too sure you know with wood it takes a couple of layers to absorb the paint but um it looks good to me it doesn't look so filthy and dirty uh before where you can see spots and just imperfections so. all right so we got our setup here this is much easier when it comes to spraying. I'm just going to do some quick spray painting because it's windy. I'm not doing any type of perfect job again. This is not to make this thing look super duper perfect. All right, as you can see, that side is done. This is the inner side. So that. The wind is picking up. Yep, wind is definitely picking up. So I'm about to I'm gonna show you how tall these trees are, so you can kind of get the So that's this side. As you can see, that's already looking pretty damn good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the rest of this trailer um, on this side and I'll show you the results. All right, guys, before we wrap this up, the next thing I need to do is pretty much apply that uh, black gloss paint. Oh my goodness, goodness gracious, that bird just startled me. Woo! Um, yeah, so apply the uh, black gloss paint down that strip and I'll be done. Um, I'm not going to apply the same paint to the wood um, beam because I just want one side to actually have a gloss. And this paint has a gloss. Uh, this paint right here. Whoa. So this paint has a gloss on it. Um, it's more glossy than what I want. I want to keep, you know, this wood primary uh, with a, a matte black, like a dry matte black. And that's what's currently going on right here. So I'm going to just leave it as it is. Um, I may go out and purchase some matte black paint and just paint the bottom and see how it looks, you know, or paint the other side of this thing just to see how it looks. Um, but yeah, we got the frame painted. You know, it's not the best looking job. You know, the true way to do it is to sand this down so that way we can have a nice smooth paint. But my whole thing is I want it to look like it's a nice old uh, trailer. Um, I have like a country uh, thing to it, like a paint. You know, it kind of reminds me of my family um, that lives down the savannah georgia where it's a lot of country folks down there and i love that so it takes me back baby it takes me back so yeah um i'm gonna just go ahead and just do this upper layer i did also do inside um inside here 
so I did there all the way around. All right, guys, this is the final update on our paint job. As you can see, we got the wood painted. She is all done. So, if anything, when it comes to painting, I'm going to add another layer of paint for our bed. And I'm just gonna call it a day.